Welcome to the Blazor Rich Text Editor tutorial. Here, I will show you how to import and export RTF file in Syncfusion Blazor Rich Text Editor component. First, let me open an existing Blazor app, where I've added the Syncfusion Blazor Rich Text Editor component with the bind value property bound to the RTE value. Also, I have customized the toolbar items on Rich Text Editor. In addition to this configuration, I already added the Syncfusion Blazor Uploader button for importing RTF file. Additionally, I've integrated the Syncfusion Blazor button component for exporting RTF file. If you want to learn how to get started with the Blazor Rich Text Editor component, check out the video linked in the YouTube card above. Additionally, if you want to learn more about adding custom import and export buttons in Rich Text Editor component, check the video linked provided in the description below. Let me run the example application. You can see the Rich Text Editor rendered with provided content, as well as the toolbar item rendered with the import and export buttons. Next, I will show you how to import RTF file from local machine. I've already set up the sample data controller class, which invokes the import method through the web API controller. You can see the import method, it takes uploaded file and converts the first file from RTF to HTML format. Subsequently, I retrieve the body content from the HTML and removes line breaks. Finally, I sent the modified content as a response header named root value. If you want to know more information about sample data controller class, check out the import and export HTML file video linked provided in the description below. Moving on, I navigate to the index file, define the uploader async settings tag inside the Syncfusion Blazor uploader component, and set the save URL property to correspond to the import action method in the sample data controller. This property specifies the URL where the uploaded file will be sent for processing on the server side. Then I define the uploader events tag to define events for the Syncfusion uploader component. And set the success event. In this event, I will bind the event handler which is responsible for handling the import RTF file. To do this, I create the public void method on success. It takes a success event args parameter. Inside the method, I extract the header from the response. Split the headers to extract the specific value. And assign the extracted value to the RTE value property. Then I bind the onSuccess method to success event. Look now, when I click the import icon and browse the RTF content from my local directory, you'll notice that the RTF content is displayed in the rich text editor component. Next, I will show you how to export RTF file from Blazor Rich Text Editor component. I'm going to display a button that allows you to export an RTF file with a simple button click. To achieve this, I've already defined the Syncfusion button component. Now, I'll configure its on-click event. This event will trigger the export action when clicked. To handle this action, I'll create a public async method named on export. Inside this method, I'll export the Word document's content in RTF format using JS Runtime to interact with the system and save the resulting RTF file. Before proceeding, I'll bind the onExport method to the button's onClick event, enabling the execute the export RTF file. Now, let's explore the functionality inside the onExport method. I have already installed the Syncfusion doc.io NuGet package. So, I include the Syncfusion doc.io namespace, which enables the creation of RTF files. Then, I'll create a public method named getDocument of type word document, which takes RTF text as a parameter. This method will return a word document object. Initially, I'll declare a variable named document of type word document and initialize it with a null value. Then, I'll check that the provided RTF text is not null or empty. Within the if block, I'll create a new memory stream object to hold the data converted from the HTML text. I'll also create a stream writer named writer to write characters to the stream using the default encoding, passing the HTML text as an argument to the method. 
Next, I'll write the content of the RTF text string into the stream. Flush the writer to ensure the content is written and set the stream position to the beginning. Following that, I'll create a new instance of the Word document, passing the memory stream containing RTF content, stream, specifying the format type as HTML, and indicating no XHTML validation. Finally, I'll return the document. Inside the onExport method, I call the created get document to obtain a Word document representation of the input RTF content. Also, I create a new memory stream named stream to temporarily store the RTF content. Subsequently, I save the document to the stream in RTF format. Afterward, I set the stream position to beginning. Moving on, I'll navigate to the host CSHTML file. I've already created the JavaScript function that can be used to save a file with a given file name and base64 encoded content. For more information about the function, check out the import and export HTML file video linked provided in the description below. Next, in the index file, I'll create a public async method named saveAs, which takes three parameters, JavaScript interop, file name, and binary data. Within this method, I'll utilize the created JavaScript function saveAs file using the invokeAsync method. It's important to note that this JavaScript function is expected to exist on the client side. Then, I'll declare the property named JSRuntime of type IJSRuntime. It is an interface in Blazor used for interacting with JavaScript code from .NET code. Within the onExport method, I'll call the created saveAs method to save the exported RTF file locally. After saving the document to the stream in RTF format, I'll close the document, flush the stream to ensure any buffered data is written to the file, and dispose of it to free up resources. Look now, I'll first import an RTF file from my local system. Now I proceed to add various types of content such as hyperlinks, tables, and lists. To achieve this, I start by inserting hyperlinks and setting them to sync Fusion eBook links, providing the necessary names. Following that, I create a table and populate it with content. Additionally, I include an unordered list showcasing SyncFusion components. I click the Export RTF button. Notice that the RTF file is promptly downloaded by the browser. Upon opening the downloaded file, you'll see all the added contents neatly arranged within the RTF file. Now let me summarize the key takeaways from this video. I covered how to import and export RTF file in the Blazor Rich Text Editor component. For more information on the RTE's features, check out the documentation link provided in this video's description. If you would like to see the working code of this example, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free community license to use all our Blazor products. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.